We back at it again, mask off, another video. Pool kick sneaker shopping, but we got some young icons with us today. So, further ado, we got Jalen Green. Yeah. Legend, number one right now. Literally, he was number one before I even seen him ranking because I was watching like a couple years ago. Like, he could go. Then I see my young boy, Dior. What grade are you now? I'm about to be a junior. He about to be a junior. Pay attention. Pay attention. So, look, we about to go shop for sneakers. I'm asking like a few questions and then y'all gonna find out what kind of drip they like. And you mean, you might uh, learn something too. So, we're gonna shop for sneakers, see what they like. And then, you know, make sure you subscribe, comment below, and then. We appreciate the support. Thank you. All right, look, we chilling. What size are you? 13. 13? 13. 14. Oh, that's easy. 13? 13, 14? 13, 14? Yeah. We in the vault right back here. We got all all our heat. We got more heat outside. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm going to go through the 13s. You let me know what you like. Let me know what you see. And then um, basically, we're going to like find out what they like drip wise. But first off, before we start, duh, we're going to ask some basketball questions. Like yeah. keep it straight up, no lie. I I who I used to back in that graduate uh, 2009, mm -hmm. so I'm done. But I mean, if they want to play one on one for like store credit, we might find a way to do it. Uh, we can put out do that. Yeah, see, yeah, yeah, yeah. We gonna find a way. But you number one, right? Uh, when when did they announce you was number one? I think it was like a couple weeks after I signed. After I made my announcement, they had released that I was gonna be number one again. So so junior year, what was like? What were you ranked at? Like your junior end of junior year? In my junior year, I fell to three underneath K Cunningham and Evan Mobley. Yeah, K K nice, Evan K Mobley nice. nice. Yep, exactly. Um, but was that any motivation like? You not number one, you number three. Like going to senior year was like, what were you thinking? Oh, uh, I feel like I always have motivation. I mean, I always feel like I'm the underdog, so I, mean, I just lived up to that. I mean, rankings don't really mean nothing None. in a sense, but like it's just to you know get your publicity out yeah. there, let you know how hard you work and stuff like that. So it comes and goes, but I mean, I've always had motivation just to always push you myself. You modest. You gotta be modest. You gotta be humble. And he got number one on his head, and he's still saying he got a lot to work to do. So we're gonna look at some size 13s and I'm gonna ask Dior a few questions, so let's go over here. All right, we're in the back. Ooh, First shoe he picked up. Now these right here is hard, I ain't gonna lie, I like these. How, how you feel about the Cactus Jack? I mean, Cactus Jack, I'm not a big fan, mm -hmm. you feel me? I just rock what I like, but I like nice. I like the SB version, you know what I'm smart, saying? Smart, smart, smart. But smart. the Cactus Jack with this shoe right here goes well. Like Everybody like the Travis Scott 6s, I don't like that. So he, he likes what he likes. Yeah, I like what I like. He's what he likes. He said he likes, so your 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 style of play. Those is hard. Ooh, yeah. we, gonna go, we gonna get in that to a second. Them is hard. That was hard. We might, we, got, we might gotta play for those. But his style of play, I, saw, I seen you, I'll be honest, I seen you, uh, well, how I, you, they said you was coming to the shop. You know Roger, right? You yeah, coming yeah, to cool yeah, here okay. and there. And then um, Bronny came through. When we first opened in Santa Monica, yeah, and then I was looking at Bronny highlights, and I seen you, y'all was playing AU together, yeah. And then I was like, I was looking at Bronny highlights, and I seen him, and I was like, who's this? And I started doing mad research, like Dior, Dior. Your style of play is, I'm telling you, is like, it's, it's solid. Like you athletic, you can shoot, but the like, you know, the reflexes and the knack for like getting the ball in the rack, finding someone really quick open, it's like hard to teach. Yeah. So how do you like, you know, come up with your in unconventional style of play? Uh, is that where you practice or you just it's just like body reaction yeah you, know, like you touch something hot you like ah. yeah yeah so like i try and move to get to my move but like if, if the defender the human body tries to yeah. reflect to it i just reflect so is there a way to practice for it because i uh jamal crawford said he never do, used to do drills he i just, mean i just played i ain't gonna lie when i was drinking i just played at the boys and girls club a lot of pickup 21 three on three so just playing i, I started working out when i got in high school you That's know you know off tops though the new york the new york uh, style players are different <laughs> oh you're from up top new york no nah, i'm not even from new york city i'm uh -huh. from kingston new york oh but you hoop, hoop like you know you used to go just to the city and hoop. Just, i mean i just hoop like i got my own you know what i'm saying just, out there is just different they built different they built different <laughs> they, got, they got their own swag to them you, you'll see him cut in his videos he'll come up the court and want some yeah it's different like, i was like this is different it's not yeah. even like a trying to show up thing that's what people don't get it's like a, he just know he that's he your way feel hoop. it feel good like yeah. it's a it's a comfortable thing in like it's a, it's, a, it's a mind game thing yeah. with your defender, too, because yeah. you, you showing the defender you that comfortable, he not going to want to get up. Yeah, you, he, he already know you. Like, hey, you uh -uh. feel like you get past him. And now, now I already got momentum, so once you step up, it's over with. So so what does the confidence do for that, then? You already got the momentum. You already know, you know, neck. So you have it over, like being That's overconfident. That's the biggest part of the game I tell people. You got to have confidence. Yeah. Because you're not going to – like, I played terrible, but then it's like – it's not because your game, it's just because yeah. the confidence. You want to believe in yourself yeah, at the time, it. you know what I'm saying? See, I mean, he's, he's he, 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 he going to be a junior next year. That means he's 10th grade. He already this mature, 
Hey, watch out. So let's get into these sneakers, man. Let's do it. So what you, you had some Sean Willis ones in your hand? Yeah, I did, they were here. I ain't never had a pair of these. I seen people with them, but it was fire. So I guess we gotta, I guess we gotta change that today. That's a fact, for sure. So Sean Witherspoon's, he might cop it, so we're gonna hold that to the side for him. Yeah, hold it to the side. Might blow a bag in here today. Oh yeah, yes sir. I ain't gonna lie, this is how these dumb laws are. You good, you good, you good. Oh. DS pair, brand new. We got some heat in the bag. I forgot what shoes we had in the vault. We got a lot of bolt. Oh, See, he seen something he like. He seen something he like. What's that? Ooh! In the reverse out of the back wheels, right? Yeah. Yeah, these do. Yeah, them is heat. Heat. Those are fire. Those are fire. These are 13? Sure. Yeah. I always like these, but the, when they get old, the bottom start getting weird. See, we're gonna stack these boxes. Yeah, the bottom, it's gonna, get, it's gonna be weird like that regardless. It might turn, it might, uh, the oxidation makes it like yellow. Yeah, So it's, it depends on where you store it. I don't like that. About the, on these though. Okay, let me go here. Let me, let me talk about this classic. All right. Y'all seen, y'all seen Last Dance, right? Yeah. Y'all seen Last Dance? Yeah. Uh, Jordan was probably, like, Jordan's a little bit before my time too. When I, me growing up hooping, I, it was like T-Mac, AI, Kobe, Baron Davis, D. Francis. Jordan was a little bit before, but I know he's much more after their time. But, you know, you guys already knew about Jordan, but after seeing Last Dance, what's your opinion on the GOAT talk? Uh, well, I ain't really grew up able to watch mm -hmm. Jordan for, I, I grew up a little bit watching Kobe because, yeah. you know, he was still playing. But just to see, like, how his mindset was, how he thought and things like that, and just how he moved in general was just crazy. You know, he's one of the best players. Yeah. He's, the, he's the best player to play the game. He's, so who you think? He's, is he the GOAT now? Nah, for sure. The GOAT. For sure. 100%. See, I thought before that, before I see Last Dance, I was thinking, like, LeBron, LeBron, Bron nice, Kobe nice. They got you know a few rings, but the way Jordan was like, he ain't lose. I think I think the fact that they put this out just like solidified him. Being yeah, good. people didn't really know this side of it. Yeah, really Laney yeah. So who so who you think got a chance, the closest chance to being like similar to the goat, or like it probably be someone young right now that you can know like Ben Simmons maybe he might he got high ceiling who do you think right now got the highest potential to be somewhat close to Jordan LeBron Kobe well I mean you said LeBron obviously I mean yeah. he's, he's been he's a legend in the game right now um young I like John Morant game I yeah, think he, the Morant way the well. way he came into the league just yeah. to make it so easy it's just different. like like this ain't really nothing yeah. to him I think with that mentality he could go real far for that yeah. so right. I think he he got a high ceiling right now. The highest? You think you got a high ceiling right For now? Sure. You think so too? Um, higher, higher than Luca? Yeah, I like Ja. I really like Ja's game. I like Ja. What about Trey Young? Uh, I like Trey Young too. I like Ja. He Ja, ja remind me of like he gritty. Yeah. He, he coming. He a dog. Like, yeah, dog. Yeah, it's no. Different. You can't teach that. No, you can't like, teach it. He coming at you. Yeah, bro. you can't teach it. So the way he comes at you in a in the meaner he comes at you. Now everybody come at you like that. Yeah, it's different. Ja's different. Hey, John Morant, you gotta pull up the cool kids. I need to talk to you because <laughs> I've been said, I've been said Ja before I before he even got in the league, I was looking at what well, he's Murray State. Baseline, two hand, he's like what, 6'2? 6'2, 180? It's different. You can't teach it. So um, we'll talk more hoops with them, but let's go back to shopping for sneakers. About this at the end you see that hoop we got young hoopers in the building if if they make a shot they'll get everything they want that they picked out for free but we ain't gonna talk about that we're gonna go look out for some, some more sneakers and see what he like dior back there in love with the size 13 in the ball so he'll come back out soon so give us a second a few moments later see, look, see dior came back he was in the he was in the back in the ball for 45 minutes yeah, heat back there. So look, so he's talking about the heat. So I'm gonna ask him some hot questions. I got three hot questions for you. Hot seat. All right. Straight up, no filter. Right now, you about to go 11th grade. Are you the best player in your class? Yeah. Easy. It's an easy question. You about to be in 11th grade. There's some players out there, like, you know, Monty Bates. You know, some people still about to be like in 12th grade. Are you the best player in high school? Your man's Jalen gone. 
I respect everybody's game, but I know where I stand. It's so up to you. I'm standing at 10 toes on what I said. Yes? No? Yeah, I'm standing at 10 toes. He said on himself, he's the best player in high school. I like that. He gone, so. I, I didn't now this is the last question. I didn't pass it down to him. It's the last question. <laughs> so, this is the last question. <laughs> y'all y'all both y'all both was in high school last year together. Were you the best player last year? I was a freshman and I was still getting busy. I was 30. I was the best player in high school. So I'm talking Period. 30. 30. See, he, he don't got he don't got no he don't got nothing to say about that. Last year? Nah, last year in high school season, we talking high nah, school. Nah, you was bunch last year. In high school, I was going crazy. Yeah, it's going crazy. I was averaging like 30 something too. 30, that's he they saying they're averaging 30 like that's regular. That is regular. Oh, that's regular. Damn. So look, you made a you made a big decision this year. Past, you know, not to go to college. Yeah. Sign with the G League. First person to do it. Yeah. Why did you do that? Why what made you like come to that decision? Not go to college, you know, not go overseas, but do the G League with it. I mean everything really works out for me in that situation in that case because I used to be say I'm a unicorn. Yeah. They used to like trendsetter type of thing. So that's like me doing the trendsetting. At the same time, they paying for four years of my education. Mm, smart. So I mean, I had both, both best of both worlds and both situations. So I mean, I think it was the best for me. And at the same time, I'm gonna get best training, be around yeah. NBA players, NBA pros, NBA trainers. So it's like a no brainer, basically. Yeah, no brainer. Yeah, pay, no pay for your pay for your education. Lob. Pay, they pay for your education. Yeah. You get better by training with like professionals. Exactly. And then what? It's like a one year program. Yeah, one year program. And then after that, you my get class, to the draft. Man, my draft class 2021. So everything work out. Everything goes planned. Hopefully, I'll be top two, top three. Top three pick. He's saying he's he hoping to be top three pick. You still got to put the work in this year. Of course. Over. You got to still see over. like you know people in college still hooping. Yes, you never know who's overseas, but. Big respect. When I first heard about you, mm -hmm. I was looking up. Uh, it was me and BK. Me and BK was uh, in the crib watching highlights, right? Because mm -hmm. uh, uh, I'm from VA. It was, uh, who they got? Todd, Isaiah. Isaiah Todd. He played that's for. That's people that's going to. Yeah, he played um, Team Loaded. And that's the AAU time I played for back in the day when it was uh, Peter's Breaker League. Yeah. I was looking at Isaiah Todd. That's someone like your joint. They're talking about unicorn. And I was like, what does the unicorn mean? Like, what do you mean by that? Uh, it just means like you're different on the court. Uh, you can do anything, you can do everything. You play defense, offense. You just carry yourself differently. Stand out on the court, all that. Like, it just plays a big old role on the court. So you one on one? Yeah, one on one. One on one. Sure. Ain't never been here before. Dior over there practices jump shot. I see him miss a few though. So we gonna get in that. What we gonna do? So you tell them, let them know. If they make a jump shot, they take get five hundred dollars each. What? Cash. Where? Where? Make a jump shot from where? Right there. Like, he sound confident. That's that, that, that trade ball, man. Right there, right there. Throw, make a free throw. Say no more. All right, look. Take your time. You get one shot. Five hundred store credit. Two. No pressure. Two. 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 Two shots. Two shots. All right, see, he ain't make. He ain't make the layup. Oh, he didn't, need, he didn't even need two shots. He oh, averaged 30. Let's see if Jalen got it. Oh, 30. Now the pressure on. You made it. He already got 500 credit. That's so pressure. He got 500 on time with a shot. Let's see if he got it. He got two shots, too. He might not need it, though. Oh, pressure's on. He needed that second hey, Raise the stakes. Raise the stakes. If he makes this, what Double a stack. $1,000 store credit if he makes this. Pressure though. Oh! Damn, scouting report. Scouting report. He's not that good at cool kicks basketball. Cool kicks basketball. We're gonna go back to um, shop for a few more sneakers, and then we're gonna end this thing because we gotta give him another chance. Because I'm still putting it on the table one on one. I mean two on two. BK, you ready? Yeah, let's get it. Two on two. Two on two. Me and BK versus Dior Jalen Green. A thousand dollar store credit. It's a park back there. So we'll figure it out. My young boys, Dior and Jalen, came through. This is all the shoes we want. And, they got, and they're still picking out more. And we got to go right down to the cool. And Ryan's taking a water break. Gang, gang. It's busy out there. Stay hydrated. First day of non-social distancing. We still social distancing, but first day open, you can come in. So, as you can imagine, Ryan's busy. Busy, busy. Oh, shit. All in the day's work at Cool Kids. All in the day's work. No, he missed his own head, bro. He missed his own head. He missed his own head. Hey, man, hey, man, we're here, we're here. Oh, yeah, please, 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 please,
Thank you, my guy. Appreciate you, my G. All right. See, Jalen Green got his. He got his, his. He got his drip already. We still waiting on Dior. Dior still, still shopping. We about to go to the cool to see if they want some clothing. So, catch the sale joints off. I got the blazer joints, OGs. How much? Uh, they're brand new, probably eight or nine. Uh, got a blazer joint too, thirteen. Zoom fly. I'll take them all. Uh, which one we call it? Some cream joints you just had? I'll take those. Nice. 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 Yeah. These fragment ones. You sure it's not done there, right? Those are royals, bro. Size 15. Oh. I these all size 14. There's some fragments up there. Oh, Scott's? Scott's for us? Thank you. It should be. How much you want for these? Probably like six. Six? Yeah. I usually sell them like eight. No, right. So you want six for these and seven for the cream dress? Yes, sir. Also something or somebody got a different, like a mismatch or some shit. Let's see, under you. Two, this is a hard decision. I want these joints or the cream joints. Drop a drop. I'll go with these. We still back here looking at, looking at drip. Yeah, bro, I can't find Drip God. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'll take, I'll take these joints from here for sure. But, yeah, I'm deciding on these joints. All right, look, we had the cool now. We left cool kicks. We still with the young icons. We about to get some clothing drip. So, what kind of brands do you like? Sure, I like v long Supreme, Off-White, Bape, Anti-Social, Bape is okay. Travis, is okay. Travis Scott merch. No, I'm not. What you feeling? Like? You let us know. You let us know your mm -hmm. Bape hoodies, I'm in the door. Mm -hmm. Off-White, mm -hmm. uh, Supreme, Dior. Hence Dior. So let's go over here and shop. <laughs> like, ah, uh, everything. We got some, uh... Even if it's no name brand, if it's fire, I still... Yeah, like he said, he said he like what he like. For real, I'll be he doing play how he play. He do what he do. So he gonna shop his own drip. Jalen Green, Jalen already looking in the box. Box logos. Box logos.